welcome back to Prison Architect, everybody. Welcome back to um, our unnamed prison that I, I haven't actually picked a name for. Uh, we begin proceedings. Oh, excuse me. We begin proceedings by, by finding Felix Jerome destroying shit. Okay, I, I'm not having any of that. So uh, let's get our guard in here who is currently exhausted, apparently. Not surprised, we don't have a staff room. Uh, let's just get in him. Yeah, let's just get him in here to uh, sort sort old Felix Jerome out here. What what is your problem, Felix Jerome? He's just in here for violent disorder. So I guess like maybe. Oh, nice. We managed to cuff him. That's pretty cool. Can we put him in the? Yeah, looks like looks like we need we need some kind of solitary and uh, lockdown as well. Uh, yeah, I, I I guess Felix Jerome. It's just a violent man, you know. It, even as a child, he was. Uh... Oh, nice. Been waiting for that button. Uh, even as a child, you know, he he, he used to hit people. Um, he, he was one of those one of those kids who would just like get really really aggressive with their friends. You know, um, maybe maybe his friends were a little bit scared of him, uh, and and that's that's the only reason they were friends. And now now he's thirty eight. He's a lonely lonely old man. Nobody wants to come and visit him. Has he got any family? What what? Oh, I guess uh, yeah, wife and father. So he's got a wife. Um, I, I don't know if his wife ever wants to come and visit. I mean, she might be too, too scared to, to be honest. But uh, we, we we need to get a worker in here to repair shit, you know, because that's that's the problem. Uh, the f the next thing we need to do is uh, instantly just turn this to filled capacity, okay? Because we don't have any room for any more prisoners, right? We've got enough. We've got no money in which to deal with these prisoners, and a bunch of things that we need to do, okay? So I have a plan, all right. Now what we're gonna do is repurpose this area as a shower and a canteen for now. Um, and then I think we'll we'll just turn this into the kitchen. Okay, just this little block. It's only going to be temporary. Um, we can complete this task then. We should also probably try and do finance through, bu through bureaucracy and uh, get another office and hire an accountant because we can do all of that for about a, about a grand. Uh, so the first thing we're going to have to do, right, try and get these rooms built. Um, let's let's leave the game on full speed because, or uh, well, maybe not full speed. Actually, we've got some got some guys who aren't being aren't being dealt with, are they? So we'll we'll just leave it on one. That'll do for now. Um, we're going to turn this top bit into a uh, into a shower, and the bottom bit into a canteen. Okay. Now this is only temporary. I just want to point this out. This is not this is not what we intend things to be uh, in the long run. However, we do we do need to get like some food, and uh, you know some places for people to sit and eat that food. At the end of the day, because otherwise, all, all these guys that we've got in our holding cell, they're they're they're, they're probably going to die. Let's be honest, uh, and we don't want that. That that doesn't look good on our prison. We don't have, you know, failure conditions on, so it's not, it isn't actually technically a problem. But um, I I still, I don't know. I still like the idea of the prison being being you know having a having a squeaky clean record. Oh, look, that works. That works much better, doesn't it? Let's let's move it over there. There we go. A bit more symmetrical. We like, we like symmetry in our canteens, don't we, at the end of the day? And we need the space for people to walk around. So we've managed to build build a canteen successfully for a, a very small amount of money. Um, I'll be honest, if it cost that little in real life, like, I'd, I'd be building canteens everywhere. You know, I'd have a canteen downstairs in uh, in, my, in my house. Um, I'd, I'd probably, like, I don't know, build, build a canteen in my friends' houses. I'd just build them everywhere, like, anywhere there was an open space. Like, I'd find a parking space, pay for a ticket, and then just build a canteen there, you know? Like, who cares if they take it down? It was so cheap to begin with. It doesn't even matter, does it? But uh, here we go. We've got a shower with... A, I mean, it's a reasonable amount of shower heads, isn't it? It's not not exactly as many as I was hoping for, but I, I, I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with this central area entirely yet. I think we're going to shower it, but I think we'll make the, the little bit in the middle, like, nothing, so that we've got, like, a little guard area to walk around in. Uh, like I said, the idea with this is that we can plonk a guard here and he would just be able to see everything, hopefully. I don't actually know if that's true, but... Oh, good, so our guard can take a break in the warden's office, which is, is better than nothing. Um, it does, however, look like these guys are going to go up to the canteen expecting food, and obviously there, there, isn't actually, there isn't actually anything in there. Maybe we could just put them on lockdown for the entire day, couldn't we? Um, that, that might be an option, I guess, so that we can keep them in the holding cell. Where is... What am I looking for? Kitchen? I'm looking for the kitchen. Kitchen, there it is. So this this is not it's not the most practical space for a kitchen, especially as it's outside the prison. It, it's going to take them forever, like absolutely forever, to actually get into the prison and uh, and and put the food down. You know, the other problem with the kitchen they're they're pretty damn expensive. Um, 
I mean, it's 500 a piece for those. What else do we need? We need a sink. It's, uh, it's only 20 bucks for a massive sink, apparently. Which is, again, like, what a price. Seriously. If you could buy, buy a sink like this for 20 bucks, why, why, would you, why would you buy, like, anything else? I mean, porcelain sink. Por- porcelain. Porcelain. Uh, porcelain, 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 and they're, sorry, they're they they're expensive shit, right? Like they they some of those can cost like a couple of hundred pounds, and uh, if if you could buy this for like twenty dollars, I I mean, why bother cleaning it? At the end of the day, you you just go and buy a new one, right? Just throw this one out. There there, there wouldn't be any point at all to cleaning it. So um, I I mean we'll we'll let's move on from that, shall we? We we don't have any water coming into this place at the moment. We haven't actually wired up the electric. Uh, to the water, which is not not the best result, I'll be honest. And we we are going to need some electric to come and, and snake its way along there. Uh, the water pipes, how are we doing with those? Okay, so we're we're missing one here. We we've got once once everything's hooked up, those toilets will be working. I guess we're going to need to put some pipes around here, aren't we? Um, we we could put the hot water pipes down now so that they're released there, but I'm I'm not 100% sure that this is where we're going to be keeping the showers. So instead, we're just going to I'm just going to bring it over here and hope there's enough pressure so to, it should be enough. I mean, it's right next to the pump, but enough pressure to push it all the way around the pipes, you know, so that they can um, that they, they can take their showers, even if they're cold. Who gives a shit if they're cold? They're, they're prisoners. I don't give a shit if they're having cold showers. Uh, what's going on with this door, though? Oh, we've only got one guard and he's on break, isn't he? Okay, fine. Right, this is... We're, we're going to have to hire a second guard. All right, this is absolutely fine, though. It is one of our objectives at the end of the day. So if we hire that second guard, we will have um, the second guard for their objective. How many workers do we have at the moment? Eight. Oh, we don't even have enough money to hire another one. Well, it's okay. We'll just have to wait until until this is completed. Because we, we do need to get another chef. Um, and we don't have enough money to do that at the moment. So I think we're going to have to speed things up. We're going to have to let, like, the builders complete all of their jobs and stuff. We've got the guards running backwards and forwards trying to open all these doors. I mean, it's not the most practical solution. Maybe I just, uh, maybe I should just lock the, uh, the cell. What, what do you reckon? Lock this one open? I don't know. Anyway, I, I was thinking about this, okay? I've been thinking about this a little bit, little bit offline. What I want to do, I, di I didn't actually check there was any water around. What I want to do is, uh, build these basically symmetrical over here, okay? And then we're going to wall. We're going to put foundations down so there's a corridor leading down to the yard, all right. And what that's going to mean is these little spaces are going to create cool little rooms. You see, like off the side of the corridor, and we'll be able to turn those into like our cleaning cupboards. Uh, maybe, maybe we can make them like the solitary instead. We can turn them into like little solitary uh, confinement areas. That might be might be a good idea actually, because we can get them out of the way of everybody else, stop them causing trouble. Like we'll be able to keep an eye on anybody trying to like smuggle them stuff in in through the solitary uh you know door bars or something like that I, I i don't really know how it is that they they smuggle stuff around in this game they do seem to just bypass like the laws of physics and and pass objects into to solid areas that you you don't think they'd be able to get into honestly um what's going on there it looks like our workers are still trying to complete all of these all of these freaking water pipes the canteen is done the shower is done uh oh okay yeah i i before, uh, before, <laughs> when I quit last time, when we, when we were, when we were, you know, last playing, uh, I, I kind of forgot to save, so it didn't actually record the fact that we did the yard. Everything else seems to be here. I did check, but I, I did forget about the yard. Uh, so there we go. The yard is done. Uh, the kitchen, the kitchen is still waiting. Come on, guys. The kitchen is the most important thing here. Get, get some shit down here, so that we can, uh, we can probably hire our first chef, hopefully. Get a ten grand payment, and then we can then we can very quickly do the uh, the bureaucracy thing, you know, to complete that. Get ourselves some more some more money coming in there, and then then we will be then we will be in the big bucks. Oh, okay. They've they've literally all decided to take a rest in the same place at at the same. What is going on? You guys are creepy. You guys are creep you're creeping me out, man. Just just I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from them. They're, they're, that that don't. That is creepy, right? I'm not wrong. Okay, well, let's just ignore it. Let's get off. Oh, let's get our first chef. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we need one more, though. We're going to have to wait for that extra 500 bucks to come in, which is very slow. Like, we don't have enough prisoners to make a serious amount of money. That's the problem. Uh, we do, however, need to wire in this, uh, this sink. Can we... 
Oh, just about. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can afford to afford to wire in the sink. It is going to. I mean, it needs water at the end of the day. They're not going to be able to operate the kitchen properly without without having water. Now we just need that five hundred bucks. Those five hundred sweet, sweet bucks to um. Hmm. Can we sell these? Can, can, can I? Can I sell this? Can, can, can I? Can I? Can I sell something, please? No. No. I'd I'd like to. I'd like to. But can can I? Uh, oh, I don't know. Never mind. Let's just let's just forget about that. I've got I've got a hundred bucks coming now anyway. I the little ding was um means something good, right? I can't I can't remember what it was. Maybe somebody died or something, and we don't we don't know about it. Uh, but I, I mean, they're in lock up at the moment. Have they got shower time coming? Okay, cool. So we are we are going to see them using our new shower system, which is going to be nice. Okay, I I I. It's pretty shit, but we do at least have enough showers for everybody, including two spares. So if any of them are broken. You know, we can shuffle these guys over to... What? Uh, oh, we've got no solitary, of course. Uh, we can shuffle these guys over to, you know, somewhere else. You know what, just for now, because we don't have anything else, and, and we do need one. There we go. There's a solitary confinement right there for you, buddy. I'm going to change that into a cell one day, okay? Might even end up being your cell, Scott Baker. Uh, sentenced to 14 years for multiple crimes, including false imprisonment and kidnapping. Jesus Christ, Scott. What is wrong with you? Why who, why, who have you been kidnapping? Like, I bet he's been kidnapping people with the name Baker. Okay, you, you, you go away, all right? I've got a friend called Baker. You, you go away. There's Troy Baker. Oh, mm. um, uh, yeah, like, hey, maybe he's just been kidnapping people with the surname Baker, you know, or something like that. Maybe that's his storyline. Um, I don't know, but he's going into solitary confinement now, so you, you go and think about what you've done, all right? I want you to, to sit here for an hour and 50 minutes. That, that is not... I mean, that is not a long amount of time. What kind of weapon did he have on it? Was it something like a shotgun? I mean, cause if we're talking shotgun territory, you, you should probably you should probably lock him up for longer, longer than um, a few hours, I'll be honest. Um, Mackenzie, oh, okay. I was going to say, what the hell is Mackenzie doing? But I guess he, he just wanted to go and have a little wash. Uh, it looks like these, these, these lights aren't connected up. So I guess we do kind of need some more cables. Maybe we can just get away with doing that. What do you reckon? I guess, I guess actually we can just get away with doing that, right? It's, it's two blocks short. So does that work? I mean, it doesn't quite get down to this corridor, but I think that, I think that'll be okay for that. And 20 bucks is, 20 bucks is not a huge amount of money to spend to, uh, to, to, you know, make sure that there is actually working electricity in the canteen. Not that they should be using the canteen in the dark. I mean, trying to cut your food up in the dark is just like a recipe for, for slicing your fingers up. Um, sorry, I had it on slow speed. We're just, we're just waiting for this final 100 bucks to come in. I mean, that's literally all we need. Then we can get a big 10 grand payment. Uh, we, we will be rolling in the moolah again, which is exactly what we need for this place. What should we call this place? Okay. I, I was trying to think of some ideas, right? I, I thought about doing, like, the, the, the Barry Chuckle Memorial Prism. Because uh, the, the legend that is Barry, Barry Chuckle did, did die recently. Um, which is pretty devastating. Like you, Barry, the, the, the Chuckle Brothers are—they're one of those institutions that, like, you're a kid, you love them; a teenager, you laugh at them. As an adult, it's nostalgic value, right? But it's one of those things that, like, you—you—you you, you might laugh at them, not necessarily with them. But the only reason you do that is 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 because they were like, you know, it was like laughing laughing at a family member. You know, only you were allowed to do that. If if you hadn't watched the Chuckle Brothers, you 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 what you didn't understand basically. Oh, ten grand! There it is, perfect. Right, let's get that finance bureaucracy kicked off. Uh, ooh, it's ready. That was what the ting was. Okay, uh, <laughs> we we we're finally going to unlock our finance uh, bureaucracy stuff. We 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 should probably finish building one of these offices while we still got the money, as well. Uh, let's just mimic. Okay, like like something out of um, what do you call it? That that game that came out again recently, Prey. Um, yeah, let's let's just mimic like offices and stuff. We we may we're going to put down some frills and things, you know, some nice floor and like some some radiators and shit to keep people warm. But for now, no frills, uh, no no frills for prison. But yeah, I I want I don't know if you're watching this and and you've got an idea, can you give me a suggestion for any names? Like the Barry Chuckle Memorial Prison was okay, but. We we did like in Discord we were talking about like having the to me and to you wings, um, which I I kind of appreciate and like there were some other ideas in there as well. 
But I, I don't know. I, I think there's probably something better we can do, especially as in like three or four months' time. It's not going to make you know. It's not going to be as relevant uh, in terms of, of of you know time and things. Especially if you come back and watch this in the future, like then it's definitely not going to be not going to be as relevant. Although it would be nice to to honour the memory of uh, you know the the late great Barry Chuckle. But yeah, anyway, I think we're going to finish up there for today. We finally got a big payment in. Uh, we finished the year two offices. We're unlocking finance view bureaucracy, and then we'll be able to get our five grand payment. I'm sorry, it's 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 been a little bit shorter today. I mean, it's not really been a little bit shorter, but I I am really tired. If you can't tell, uh, you probably can tell. We've been um, working quite hard at work, like intentionally. It's it's I in, like by choice. I've just been doing some stuff recently, which I really enjoyed doing, and uh, I I wanted to make it as cool as possible. And I got the gratification today of um, we had a meeting. There were four people around my desk looking at my work, and then uh, it was five people, and then two more people turned up, and then all of a sudden there was about 13 or 14 people, and uh, they, they took my work, they shoved it up on a screen in the middle of the, uh, the, the dev floor so they get other people's opinion, and like it was just, it was really nice, you know? Everybody was kind of saying how good it was, and, and it, yeah, it's nice when that happens. It's nice when that happens. So I, I've... I've had a good day, but it's been a long day. Uh, I didn't get home till like nine. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to, to like and subscribe and leave a comment. I'm sorry if, if I've bored you to death. Uh, give me your uh, name suggestions for the prison, either in the comments or like contact me on Twitter or something because Twitter's Twitter's a pretty good platform. Well, come and join us in Discord. Come Discord and, and discuss it with me. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Uh.